Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. You know, I've never been a big believer in fabric and uh, geotextile stuff, but I just want to go over a couple things. Take a look, see what you guys can figure out. I want to show you a product that I found that it's kind of making me change my mind. So anyways, this is eight ounce geotextile fabric. It's punched. This, this is actually available at Lowe's and Home Depot, um, probably at Ace as well. And the homeowners can easily go get this stuff. It's not that hard to get. You can order it online too, but take a look. This is eight ounce. And if you can see that water, it works. It goes right down through there. It's a little slow. And that's always been my, my beef about this thing. It's, it's really very slow to drain into your system. Plus, it gets packed with soil and doesn't let water in become slower and slower. But let me show you what I found. And I've got a really neat little experiment to show you. Take a look at so, this. So, like I said, I'm not a big believer in fabric, but this stuff's changing my mind. I actually found this at Home Depot. It's at Lowe's also. This is called Star Green and it's made from recycled plastic bottles. It is not punched, but wow, <laughs> take a look at this stuff. Let me show you how strong it is and put the water on it. We're gonna put dirt on it. Got the GoPro down below, take a look. Can you see that? See that water? going right through that fabric. I mean, so fast, so fast. I saw a video that said you have to line up the holes on the punched fabric. You don't have to do that with this. This stuff's great. So I'm going to let it run for just a minute. Let's look at the GoPro. Oh yeah, it's getting covered with water. You'll be surprised. Like I said, I'm not a big believer in fabric. And um, of course we do use fabric here in Florida. We've got sand, such microscopic particles. We have to wrap our systems. There's no other way. But you know, I like Easy Flow and it works tremendous. It really does work good. I found this at Lowe's and Home Depot. This is called Star Green and it's a recycled product and it's made of bottles, plastic bottles. First, I wanna show you a couple things. First, I want to show you how strong it is. Look at this. This stuff is really strong. It is not flimsy material. Remember, it's not punched. It's just non-woven geofabric. Let's add some water. I've got the GoPro running down below. We'll put that in this video as well. So, check that out. As fast as I can give that thing water, it's just running right through there, no no problem at all. You know, I saw somebody saying that you have to line up the holes <laughs> of this double punch, triple punch fabric or it won't work. Wow. Awful lot of stuff there, but anyways, take a look. Not only do I have one layer, there's two layers. Wait. There's three layers. And you can see it takes the water instantly, instantly. Okay, let's add some soil on the top and see what happens, okay? Okay, let's add some soil. This is just crap out of the yard. <laughs> it's just soil out of the yard. And yeah, it's a sandy base, but you can see it's got regular roots in it, all kinds of stuff. Things that are gonna be down in your ground, right? So let's go ahead and add some water. Let me start the GoPro. Let's see what happens. Remember how the French drain works. As groundwater rises, it begins to go you know, into your system. That's why we have a French drain. It's collecting subsurface water. Can you see this? It's holding a little bit of water. This is sand. And if I look down below, yeah, it's draining through there. It's draining through there pretty well. This was always my reason for not wanting to use fabric. Number one, slows down the system so much. Number two, once that clay, if you're in the clay, becomes 
packed hard against this fabric, it's not going to drain. It will, but it's very slow, very slow. Does the gravel stay clean? Of course, but, but your system's not functioning. So let's take a look here at what we're doing one more time. Add water. Groundwater's rising. It's trying to get into your system, right? Take a look at the GoPro. So now, this is, the sand has got packed tight up against the fabric. And it's not allowing any water to go through there, right? Alright, let's take a look at what we really got. We've got one layer. I'm going to take the layer off. Now you can just see it. See it draining? It drains so slow, so slow. Look at that. But I had not only one layer, two layers, I had three layers of fabric on here, and it's still, it's, this piece is super clean, right? <laughs> because the, the fabric does stop the debris from getting in, but it also stops the water. But let's go ahead and put sand on just one where it would be normally wrapped, okay? Remember, just regular dirt out of the yard. You can see the roots. Even got pieces of debris laying in there. Let's get a couple of these roots out. Spread the sand around. Let's see if it goes any faster. Remember, there were three layers of fabric on the other one. So yeah, it's taking that water pretty good. Like I said, I've never been a big believer of fabric. Not ever. But this is sand. It's very porous material. Very porous. And you can see it still builds up on the fabric, right? It still builds up on the fabric. But if I'm going to use a fabric, I'll tell you what. This star green from recycled bottle caps, that's going to be my choice. I definitely would stay away from that eight and four ounce felt. Um, it, it's really slow, <laughs> really slow. Um, okay, let's go ahead and set up the eight ounce fabric and do the same test and see what happens. Okay, this is the eight ounce fabric. It's double punched. It takes water great, right? Oh, let's turn on the GoPro. So GoPro's running, <laughs> take a look. Eight ounce double punch fabric. Takes all the water, not a problem. Let's add some sand. Remember, this is just regular soil out of your yard. We happen to have sand, and sand is a, whoops, sand is a very porous material. This has got roots and stuff in it. Let's, Let's take, take a look. look. Got a nice pocket. The water, water just to go through. through. Remember, Remember how the system works. works. The French drain collects subsurface water. water. You, you have, have to be able to get that water to go, go into the system, system right? So, so it starts, starts to take water. water. But look, look what happens. You, you can see, see the fabric is getting so clogged that it can't get the water in. Look, Look at that. that. There's no, no doubt, doubt in my mind that fabric, fabric does, does not work. work. And, and it, it definitely, definitely keeps the gravel clean. clean. That's, That's not a problem. problem. But it, it doesn't, doesn't let the water, water into your system. system. So, so, I mean, if you wrap it, it we'll show you the GoPro. GoPro. It's dripping, dripping down, down through there. there. I'll bet you it takes 15 minutes for this to get through there. But look at this. That fabric is totally blocked by the soil and even under pressure yeah it's going to push it through but so slow guys so slow let me show you a much better fabric um, that i found and like i say i'm not a believer in fabrics but this stuff's changing my mind take a look okay there's the gopro i'm just cleaning it off the lens so you can see it Take a look how slow that water comes through there. It's just dripping. 
And if we take, take a look, look up here, here you, can you can see that, that water still, still just standing here. here. That, that water, water does, does not enter through, through the fabric, fabric like people say it does. does. Yes, yes, it does, does come, come through. through. I, I just showed you. You, you can, can take, take a look. look. And that water is dripping through there. There's no doubt. And does it keep your gravel clean? Sure. But it's not letting the system perform the way that it should. Okay. This is that star green I told you that I found at Lowe's and Home Depot. Just tried stuff out. Look how strong this is. This stuff is super strong. It's not punched and it's just non-woven geofabric. It takes water. All right, let's add some soil, see what happens. This is garden soil. Nice black, nice and black soil. Just came out of the garden. A little thicker than the sand, right? Let's take a look. We'll let it run. We've got the GoPro running down below. Look at that. You hear the water? <laughs> it's draining through there extremely fast. GoPro's picking it up. That, that water is gone. That water is completely gone. Let's do it again. Take a look. I mean, within a matter of seconds, that water is going through there. I'll tell you what. I've not. Tell you what, I've never been a believer in fabric until just now. This stuff made from recycled bottles is probably the best fabric I've ever seen, and it's very inexpensive. Very inexpensive. Uh, available to all the DIYers and contractors, Home Depot, Lowe's, Ace, everywhere online. <laughs> but look at that. That's gone. I mean, yeah, there's. Yeah, look, look. Take a look at that. Oh, let's, let's put this other camera up here. Hold on. So with the GoPro again, let's just go ahead and fill it up. Look how you can hear it. Look at the You see how it's packing this this filter? This fabric it doesn't matter what kind of fabric you have this fabric gets clogged and your system begins to work very very slow so in other words if it rains hard and that groundwater rises yeah it's going to go through this it, I just showed you it goes through but it may take it hours and hours is that a big deal for some people it is um, my suggestion is Add the catch basins. I've showed you that a thousand times. Add catch basins, water will go directly into that system and help keep that yard from flooding. So a quick summary of geotextile fabric. Like I say, I'm not a believer of it. Um, here in Florida, we must wrap our systems, our French drains, with some type of filter because the sand tries to get through. In clay, <laughs> that clay, the particles of the clay are not like sand and I'm not a big believer. I did find this uh, non-woven recycled geo textile fabric and it seems to be working pretty good. So, I mean, you can see this is completely dry. It took all the water. <laughs> this double punched eight and four ounce poly, it's actually polypropylene is what it is. It's, it's actually a polypropylene fabric that they've woven together and then this machine punches it a bunch of times you don't have to line up the holes i mean <laughs> that's not going to make any difference at all i showed you you know putting three layers of this on the top water penetrated through that without any problem does it do that in the eight ounce of course not does it do it in the eight ounce of course not um, even if you line up the holes that water is still very slow to get into that system so summing this all up, putting the summary, if you're going to use a fabric, I would stay away from the 8 ounce for um, sure. But this green stuff that I just found, the recycled bottle material, wow, that stuff does work pretty good. It's changing my mind about fabric. 
Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.